Maddie's back. Back again. When you're not around, my humor is so mature. I've got to tell you, this morning I got stuck at a traffic light because a literal, like, cavalcade of motorcycles went by. Oh my god. <laughs> it was about 120 of them. That's literally incredible. It was going around the corner and they couldn't let the other lights go at all. Like, there was a police Jesus. car stopping them. <laughs> Shit. Like, Some right. kind of event going on with them, huh? Oh, it's the event was it's the first nice day in a while. <laughs> <laughs> That's just how people be around here. That's enough of an event. <laughs> Episode four, Devil's Awakening. Cannot wait to see the devil. You're going to dance with one? <laughs> In the pale moonlight? Welcome. I was like, why is Zero here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's working for the great uncle? Yeah, I guess that guy's part of the Senate. I want to show you something. You have a duty to know. <laughs> the music cue. Jesus. Why is the door so fucking big? <laughs> It's a crypt. They're cooking meth down here. <laughs> secret. <laughs> That's the secret. Oh, ew. Look at those veins. Ew. Ah, I'm just listening to the music, vibing out. Yeah. It puts me in a good mood. It, like, literally is <laughs> just a dose of serotonin. Oh, my God. I need to check my emails. because <laughs> I'm literally also checking my emails. Oh, we got a YouTube comment, but I didn't get a notification for it. Oh, no, I did. I'm just an idiot. <laughs> Rowan Lynn, shout out. What'd they say? The, for the uh, cage match video, they said, this is just based on vibes, LMAO. <laughs> <laughs> I love to receive a good LMAO. <laughs> <laughs> He's back. <laughs> Episode four. <laughs> oh my God. The zero count. <laughs> I thought he was dead. This is gross. This is gross. <laughs> this is a little boy. What the fuck? Wait, why can he teleport? Oh my god, Diabolic He's from Lover's the Diabolic Lover's Universe. Lover's Universe. <laughs> oh. Oh, I thought, it, I thought his face went into the water. Disgusting. Ew. So if he didn't know Ooh. about this, then when the guy came over and like told him his body isn't his own or whatever, he just thought he was being like weird. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Old maid is so boring with just two people. Senri should have come too. <laughs> Senri's uh, having some family issues. <laughs> Senri would have brought the party. He's so lively and outspoken. <laughs> the lady. Oh my god, she's here? She was chilling on the I roof. I literally completely forgot about her. Haname's in some kind of fucking mood. Oh, my cousin's here. Hi. Hello. Yep. Yeah, we are. We're ruining it. Nah, it's okay. You're improving it. Yeah. <laughs> Giving backstory. Contributing to the vibes. <laughs> Everyone has left. She's just wandering around the abandoned school. <laughs> that is also what I do during school vacations. <laughs> just walking in the fucking cafeteria all shocked. Like, everyone no left. here. <laughs> he looks naked. <laughs> Dinner's going to be ready in a minute. Go grab Ido. <laughs> you still owe him some dinner. <laughs> yeah, Ido's like the only other person here. <laughs> like, you're just going to leave him by himself the whole break? Ido should have taken a bath with her. Honestly. I feel like that'd be like girls' night. Like, they'd just yeah. be vibing. Oh, my God. Ido and Yuki are like sister wives. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they do end up being like sister yeah. wives at the end. How's it still hot? Yeah. Damn. What? <laughs> Now she's hallucinating. <laughs> wow, she has boob. She does have boobs. I don't understand how the lock works on that door. You don't need to know. There is no lock on the door. No. There was a lock. <laughs> I thought there was a lock on the inside. But yeah, there must be like a, a deadbolt or something. Yeah, maybe. But the deadbolt should be unlockable from the outside. Yeah. There's no lock. Why were you just pounding on the door? You were just abandoned in a desolate location where vampires are known to roam. Vampires. <laughs> they really did that. Is that Kame like gaslighting her? Yeah. Manipulate mansplain male wife. <laughs> the male wife in this instance applies to having one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got manipulation and male wife. Where's his male splaining? Well, he hasn't mansplained a whole lot. His mansplaining is every time he's like, I'm joking. <laughs> no, he keeps mansplaining to the dad. Like he'll go to the dad and like be like, This is the problem. That's and true. I will solve it this way. What is the real reason you're here today? I just came to snoop around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, they're going to the they're going to the library. <laughs> don't mind me just snooping. <laughs> the fuck are you? I don't know. He's a vampire hunter. Oh, so this brat's your master, huh? <laughs> that shirt is a vibe. <laughs> I like how Zero like dug that. Like, <laughs> yeah. Zero was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> this guy got bored as soon as the explanation started. <laughs> he like walked away. 
He's like, man, this guy's here. <laughs> He's like, I didn't ask. <laughs> they like haven't said anything in direct. What the fuck, Zero? <laughs> <laughs> what a really helpful friend. Each one of these has soaked up the blood of our comrades. Okay. <laughs> that one really got zero going. I'm sorry for not telling you before. I just didn't want you to know. I'm sorry for not telling you. I just didn't want you to know. <laughs> He's terrible at gaslighting. <laughs> Wait, why is he getting his ass beat? I missed this. Um, there's so much blood in this room that he's like freaking out. Oh, okay, well. If you acquire the blood of a pure blood, it may delay your falling to level E. He knows! Yeah, Konami already told him that. Oh, they were just making an observation. Assuming, of course, that he will just give it to you. He did. Oh no, wait, no, he's still being like, you should go fight Konami. This scene feels like it maybe was supposed to be earlier. <laughs> you are the other half of the cursed twins. Oh, yeah, the cursed twins. Oh, I forgot. There's always going to be some cursed twins. <laughs> what the? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Yuki, how did this happen? <laughs> what did you do? Is this to imply that Kaname somehow remotely did that? Yes. It should have cut to Kaname, but it didn't. <laughs> Wait, no, who's got fire powers? The tall guy. Oh, never mind. I don't think. Well, and Kaname can mind control any of his harem, so. That's true. Mind controls a dude in a different room to make him set a page on fire from 50 miles away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you're thinking with portals. <laughs> Kaname could uh, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with light. I think he could. I think he could do it. Easily. <laughs> and that's why only one is ever born. A curse bestowed by vampires. Wait. What? Bestowed by... Okay. Wouldn't the, well, wouldn't the vampires... I don't know how they could have caused that to happen, but that's fine. It seems disadvantageous to vampires for the twins to always devour each other because they become super powered. Yeah, but that's fine. All right, vampires. They didn't say the vampires did it on purpose. I just got a little sad when I suddenly realized how empty the campus is while everyone's on break. Why? They'll be back. It's like, it's a literal also, school break. That was like this morning. <laughs> you got sad. Oh my God. <laughs> Love that flute. That sounds like Full Metal Alchemist. Like the old <laughs> Full Metal Alchemist. They just reused the yeah. soundtrack. If we ever meet anybody for like anime related shit, can we meet the like person who played the flute in Vampire Night? Please. <laughs> Drinking your blood like this, it's the only way that I can survive. <laughs> I'm gonna drink for these reads because holy <laughs> shit. It's the only way I can survive. <laughs> I could not tell who that was. I thought it was the cowboy he looks and then like he opened he's his mouth. carrying mail. a guy. <laughs> like under his arm. Songwoo moves. <laughs> What is he holding? Everyone has like <laughs> the weirdest luggage in the show. <laughs> it's like a giant sausage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought he was getting a red pink thing. It's a present. These roses bloom only once every 10 years. It's a rare item. Well, 10 years isn't that rare. No. <laughs> I think we say that every time. <laughs> I have a life-sized voodoo doll for you, Zero. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't imagine why you would have gotten him that. Konami's like attempts at jokes are so fucking funny. <laughs> His and not humor for the is like galaxy brain level. <laughs> why are none of the paintings in this universe actually hung on the wall? <laughs> like they're always like tilted off like that. Like if he's already lounging. He's like, I just want to lounge on my lounging couch. <laughs> why is it tilting like that? Because it's an actual good use of this fucking, what the fuck is that called? Uh, Dutch angle. Dutch angle, yeah, because his world is turned upside down. All right. His perspective is shifting. I thought you might suspect that I was the one who killed my parents. Whoa. Uh, no, I didn't until you said that. <laughs> Thank you for the boner, Lord Conway. <laughs> Thanks for the boner, King. <laughs> See you next time. Why is he an elf? None of the other vampires. Well, uh, granted, I haven't seen the tips of the ears because yes, they, they all have really like, long hair. Yeah. Why does he have this in his office? <laughs> wow. That certainly was an episode of Vampire Night. <laughs> Guilty.